Oh, well, hello and welcome to episode 40, ooh, 48 I'm going to say, oh, I bet I've got that wrong again, 48 of Let's Play F1 Manager 2022, it's the day after the night before, so quickly we'll get on to what happened last race, obviously we had a really good race didn't we, uh, Doing safety car came out, Science again, got us another safety car, great finish with Doing. shit finish from Vesti, well not could have been better, could have been better. So season objective is 8th and above, we're okay there. Points contender, we need points out of 11 out of 22 races. So far we've got 2 out of 3. It's round 4 coming up, it's Imola. That's where it is, okay. So, uh, and the other news is, is that Frontier Games last night announced that there's going to be no more updates apart from a couple of cosmetic things. So no fix to the safety cars. No fix to any of the other problems, the fuel, no fix to anything else. Just fuck you. Thanks for your money. We're concentrating on next year. And as I put on Twitter, what a cash grab. Tested it. Knew it didn't work. Didn't care. Put it out anyway. Took out money. And then I've said, do you know what? We're not going to support it a game for two months. Jesus Christ. Two months. I don't know who gives the license out, but whoever gives the license out for F1 ought to say, do you know what, not good enough. I mean, they won't because I've had the money and now, so I don't give a shit. Anyway, so, rant over. Fucking makes my piss boil. Oh, well, that's different. Now we're showing that we haven't got enough acceleration. There we go. And that Frederick needs to be more adaptable in the rain. But, acceleration. So, it's, we've got a whole new problem now. Nice to have a different problem. Right, here we go, here's the changes. We are proposing a new minor technical changes. All of the current regulations are assessed and we believe that many can and should be changed to promote closer competition between teams. These proposed regulation changes will have sweeping effects on all areas of car development. So please review the technical breakdown below and respond as soon as possible. Option A is minimal regulations where we can have. I don't know what the difference with what's going to benefit us, minimal or moderate. Minor technical regulation changes will reduce all team design expertise regarding the affected car parts. This will impact all teams regardless of the car's strengths. Yeah, but moderate regulations, what does that affect? Does that affect only the smaller teams or only the bigger teams? It's the fucking shit like this, man. This game is so half-baked at times. I don't know now. So what does this one do? Well, I'm going to have to go for the only one that I've got any information about, aren't I? Fuck's sake, honestly, this game. Yeah, scout him because otherwise I'll only moan that they've got nothing to do. In fact, let's scout everybody in F1. Let's see who's out, who's out of contract. Right, side pods have been designed. So let's make some side pods. Uh, before we do that though, just show me the calendar. We have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 days to make two. Oh, 
Okay. We exceeded expectations. I bet we did. The design centre has been upgraded. Holy moly. Right, which we can do now do four projects. Shit the bed. Max level. Right. That case then we want staff, engineers, and we want 20 of them now. Thank you. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to split them points between four jobs now, but, well, okay, but at least we're getting four different things done. Presume that's a better way of doing it. So look at our finances. We haven't looked at them for a while. 27 million, okay. We can now start researching next year's car. We're gonna to have to wait till we've got some. Well, we're gonna wait a while anyway. Okay. Fa in favour of the below option. The moderate, the moderate. So we were the us Mercedes now for a mayor voted against it. Everybody else voted for it. So it doesn't matter what we said now. It was out of our hands. Also, I was thinking about you the other night, you know. Remember at the start of the game when it was like, we want to throw a party for 10 grand? And the game made you think like there was going to be all these things happening. Have you ever seen one since? Apart from occasionally, I say, can we send some engineers to a school? Right, they want us to reach Q3. That never happens. They want us to get two drivers over 15th. We've got half a chance. And we've got to get two drivers over 15th in the race for... The qualifying, oh, is that qualifying? Oh, qualifying, we've got to get two over 15th. Okay, well, I reckon we can do that. Circuit info. One DRS zone. Car attributes. Cornering, low speed, medium speed, high speed. Well, isn't that the three things that we're good at? I believe so. One stop, one stop, two stop. Both seem viable. Oh, did I get those um, side pods done? Oh, I might have made a fucking balls up there. South, but here in Imola, the air is red hot. Welcome to Ferrari's turf for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. And the, the Temple of Speed. Since the 60s, but the first official Formula One race was held here in 1980. Not going to say. Let's see what excitement lies ahead this year. This is Imola, and it's an old school track with plenty of elevation changes and lots of corners. There's only one DRS zone here, but it follows the long straight right before Tamburello and should see plenty of action. At this early stage in the season, there are still plenty of opportunities for things to change. In this sport, there simply are no guarantees. So, without further ado, let's get started. Oh, it's me, you know. I'm getting confused. I always get confused between this and, and, and uh, Monza. And the different tracks, aren't they? Sunny, sunny, cloudy. We didn't look at the weather. Right. Car parts. Haven't we got... Yeah, we have, you know. I don't know how much difference they're going to make. Didn't see where we look now. Oh, we can show rank on grid. Okay, so... 17th... 19th... 17th for top speed, 19th for acceleration, 13th for low speed, 5th for medium speed, 5th for high speed, DRS 17th, acceleration under DRS 4th, 11th, 5th and 3rd and dirty air. Uh, I take it that as made us better, yeah, because we were first in something not long ago, and now we're not. Sorry, I'm just checking that. that yeah, okay. So basically, acceleration of the DRS is the one that is the only thing that's improved compared to the rest of the grid. No problem. Uh, 
Uh, I need to change all of this again now. You need to see all of this, but I've started now, so I'll finish. In fact, I won't. We'll just say while I'm doing it, uh, I'm going to crack on to the practice and we'll be back um, for qualifying. So see you in a sec. Right, well, we're back after practice and we were shite miles off it. I think we're going to struggle this race. So we've got a 97 and a 94. I think I can improve that. I think, we've, I think I've gone the wrong way and I can flick it the other way. And I think we've got a faster setup than that. 14 and a 15 bonus. Track acclimatization 100. Nearly got the car to 100. But we've got a new underfloor to go in soon anyway. Uh, car setup. Yeah, see so we've got a 96. So... We'll go back to the 96. I did it the wrong way. I should have got that two out to zero. Car parts. Uh, let's get the engine back in. Let's drop the ERS back in. Let's install the good gearbox. Let's go to car two and do the same thing. Uh, their set setup is, is the same, except we got four optimals uh, there were a couple of um, lock up spin kings again lock up twins the spin kings between them they managed to uh, Vessi managed to wreck a front wing so thanks for that um, do manage to lock up and go up miles off the trap but didn't manage to smash the front wing up but we've not been fast at all 117 is his best best practice and on 117 764 so anything less than 117 is better in qualifying what can we do we're gonna manage qualifying we're going to check this message in case it's work. It's not. We're going to send Duan out. We're going to leave a gap. We're going to send Vesti out. We're going to time 16 it. We're going to come around the final bend. And we're going to watch Duan's lap. Oh yeah, I know this track. Yeah, so back to the, what I was saying earlier about the fact they're not supporting the game anymore. I think it's a disgrace. In fact, if I wasn't recording it from the YouTube, I'd have, I'd have asked for a refund last night. I just submitted a ticket to Steam and said, can you refund this because it's broken and I ain't going to fix it. and I just saved the money and put it towards it next game when they'll fix safety cars for the next race I suppose for the next version right we want, we want quicker than 117 that's 114 that's way quicker 114 763 it's way way quicker than we did in qualifying for some unknown reason Vesti still seems to be fucking going around the track oh no it was just a time thing okay he was nearly as fast. It was like fucking going way above 117 down there then. Never quite as fast as he. Perez was slower. Gasly was slower. Hang on a minute. Up. 
See, I so don't want to go out again now, but can we take the risk? Let, let's just look. Norris will probably go faster. Perez will go faster. Gasly. No, we can't take a risk, man. There's some good, some good drivers below us. See, Norris has already gone faster. So we've got to really. Oh, what a damn shame. I want to save them tyres. Well, they're right behind each other. They're quite far back, like there's only four cars behind them, I think. The two uh, Alfa Romeos and the two Haas cars. Only a yellow first sector there, that's not very good. Green for Vesti though. Come on dude and step it up mate. Hamilton comes in in fourth at the minute. It's safe. Leclerc's finished. Science has finished. Bottas over the line. Russell over the line. Alonso over the line, improved his time, Perez drags himself out the danger zone, Vettel's no good, Stroll no good, Joe no good, you're going to fix that bug though, I think they are going to fix that one, Doing. Improves his time because above our com. Vesti doesn't really improve his any, but still makes it to Q2. So that should be that 15th and above hot streak challenge done for the sponsors. Hmm, you won in again. No, I'm not using the mediums. I just have to do it on shitty tyres, don't I? Radio check. You hear me okay? Mm, everybody else going on 100%. So where have you got them from? This is what does us. Where have you got those tyres from? I don't understand that because even if you don't use them in practice, they take them off you. So have you been using the mediums in practice, or just not? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we've not been using. They take them off you anyway. So, oh, no, I haven't done the thing. So, don't even know what we've done. Uh, doing seventh overall vesti 12th sorry i'm too busy ranting about the tires and i've com fucking completely missed what we were supposed to be doing then but we'll have a look at it's the last room we want really anyway that's just to get a time out there but that's not too bad from doing oh i might have been two stuff the mark there with vesti should be all right yeah still got 30 odd seconds to get around the last bend Can he make it into Q? I doubt it. What have we got below us? Alonso. Yeah, you would think he'd go faster. You would think the Alphas would go faster. We need some green sectors out of you here. Are they all on supersonic tyres now? They've found yet another pair of brand new tyres. A pair. Another set. Another set of brand new sauce for a second steam. Where the fuck are the other teams getting all these tyres from? doing in danger now this is normally the way and then everybody goes way faster and we drop all the way down to 14th to 15th don't we yeah now we are in some trouble 
Yeah, Magnuson always comes out with a flyer at the end. And he's just not done it. He's just not done it. As Vesti, he's gone no quicker. Vesti's gone quicker. But how much quicker, I don't know. Twelfth for doing. Holy shit. Vesti. Still 15th. Proved his time by quite a bit actually by 0.2 seconds, but it's just not enough. So 12th and a 15th. I'll take that all day. I'm going to quickly save the game. Uh, just in case the old wife Rooney comes home. So, 12th and 15th, where did everybody else finish? Yeah, we all went all about the tension. Uh, results qualifying. So, Verstappen, Leclerc, Sainz, Perez, McLaren, McLaren, Hamilton, Russell, Norris, Bottas, Alonso, Ocon, Magnussen, Dewey in 12th, Vestani in 15th the two Alfa Romeo's between the two Williams drivers and then behind us the two Alfa Tories uh, is Sonoda in the Haas and proper at the rear as normal are the Aston Martins we need a Strat ok it looks like this It said it was faster, now it's saying it's not. I tell you what, this game fucking pisses me off with this. So a 120.09. So that's the quickest. But again, fuck, fuck a doodle bastard do with the fucking tyre wear. A full five seconds quicker. Five minutes quicker. Is that what you're telling me? That's five minutes faster than that. Well, that's just absolute fucking no brain, isn't it? Oh, five minutes. I mean, I'm going to have to both put them on that strap. I don't think that's right, I don't. have to hope for a safety car or something where we can jump in and get some new tyres. Although, to be fair, we could always come in a little bit earlier. OK, right. Let's start the race. The drivers have now taken position. All eyes there. are on the race here at the Amelia Romagna Grand Prix. She's back to ring in a minute and say start and the tea. Out, and, away we go. and away we go. And that's the wrong button. And there we go. Can we get a start from doing like we had last time when he rocketed past people? It doesn't look like it. That last race in Australia. Holy shit, he rocketed up the inside of folk. Uh, Vesti's managed to rocket backwards. Lost two places. Well done. Now we're playing the same old can we stay in DRS range until it comes available or are we just going to see a gap open up when we go backwards. More competitive in qualifying than I thought we would be after practice.
so it's for the fastest lap Verstappen still out in front come on maybe someone needs to start shaking these red balls off I mean Ferrari they had it all their own way in the first season since then it's just been red ball red ball Right, what's everybody else wearing? Quite a few on this hard strategy. Quite a few on that daft soft strategy as well though. I was gonna say surely DRS is enabled now, yeah? You won't get it till next lap though. And all of a sudden somehow they managed to open up a gap out of nowhere again. Well, we're going to be in DRS range, I think. Invested not, though. Fucking hell, mate. Somebody's getting the sack at the end of the season. Look at the gap between Ocon and Alonso though. How are we going to close that gap? Everybody in front of us doing a 120 except for the these two cars that look at the back of Magnus and Ocon. Or a sub-121 I should say. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, Vesti's lost another position now to Sonoda. Someone is so getting the sack at the end of the season. Good job, good job. Doing again to sub 120. 121, rather. Best to get that position back off Sonoda. So Magnussen is in the position for a point. But Alonso right up the road now. 
we want to do anything better, I don't know how we're going to catch those cars. First, we've got to try and get past these pair. Answers on a postcard, how are we going to do that? And again, can we please make no mistakes? Alonso goes sub 120, there's a 119. That is so fast. Pushing. Yeah, head down, we don't know what we've got left. And again, I don't want to keep going on about it before we start skipping through. How the fuck can you have it so you don't even see the podiums? I mean, whether you see if your own driver gets there, I don't know yet because we haven't got there yet. But there's no podium at the end. No national anthems. Like you would think at the end we'd see who'd won it. And a national anthem and a podium. No no grid positions before the race starts that's before we even get to things like the safety car being broken but and then you've turned around and said we won't be doing there's one more patch coming and it won't be nothing major i think it was something to do with li liveries and individual car designs so you know where they can't be asked to make the cars actually look like the cars they're going to rectify that now no podiums and no grid before we start after they've had the penalties and everything, and we can see who lines up where. And they can't be bothered, because they've had your money. And I'm going to concentrate on next year's, where they can have your money again, with all the parts in that should have been in it this year. Only the games industry, man. Only the games industry. I can't, I know I've ranted about it before. I can't think of another industry where you buy something that's not finished and nobody gives a fuck. I just can't think of one. Sure, you can buy things that aren't finished that are advertised as not finished. Like a part bait baguette. But you don't buy a part baked baguette, do you? And they say, oh, ready to eat from the packet. And you open it and go, hang on a minute. This needs finishing in the oven for 12 minutes on 200 degrees. Piss take. I'm, f I'm absolutely fucking raging. Right, let's skip through right well, unless you want to watch the back of these two cars because we're obviously making no inroads whatsoever so when do we come in for the old pitaruni not forever so we'll have to come back for little updates and if anything changes because we're both on the same strat and i can't just say oh let's ignore the race and we'll come back like in a fucking week but i need my pad first because we do need to be writing down where we're leaving and when we're coming back because it does make my life so much easier episode 48 email that and we're leaving on a jet plane and we don't know when we'll be back again and has he just i hope he's lost that position to sonoda Pass with an he has yeah okay fair enough he's still battling with him right then we're gonna leave on lap nine 
and we'll be back whether there's incidents or I don't know whether we catch those other cars or just updates really when other people pit stuff like that that's what we'll do so show a couple laps and then move on so see you in a bit and a new position oh bloody hell Dylan's run wide it wasn't too bad but he's lost a couple of positions there lap 14 if that's the only mistake he's going to make I'll take it uh, we're just about to come back anyway because the old um, soft tyre crew are about to start coming in but he's just run wide there and let Gasly and Vettel past so you can see we're not too far beyond where we were It wasn't too bad as far as running wide goes. But we've lost two positions. We've got to try and make them back up. And where overtaking has been super hard. We could have done without doing that really. Lost two seconds on that lap. We were doing what we were doing, 119s. How are we going to get past Vettel now? What have we got behind us? Ricardo and Stroll, you can't see Vesti at the moment. There he is, just going around the corner. That's so disappointing. to work so hard now to get those two places back because we just can't seem to overtake anybody or get close enough we're just well nobody's overtaking anybody really you know what I mean um, Magnussen got in front of Ocon and then it's just stayed that way he's not pulling away I can't get back Magnussen comes in because on the soft so the super soft crew are going to start coming in now uh, yeah because Joe's just coming as well he's on softs uh, Sonoda's on soft tyres also, but obviously he can't come in at the same time as Magnussen. And I think there's one other car. Album. So he can't come in because Joe's come in. So as we come around again, excuse me, you'd expect Sonoda and Albon to come in this lap. That's not helping us get past Vettel and Gasly, is it? Let's just hope that was our one mistake for the day. And that from here on in, it's going to be other drivers making mistakes that we're going to benefit from and we won't make another one. But look, DRS again, look, we don't get close here. So Sonoda's come in, as I expected. It doesn't look like Albon did, though. Only we could get past these and we could use the overtake button look. remember overtake is available You've got to be careful you don't just burn that out and get nowhere. 
Oh, he seems to be doing. But somebody's locked up somewhere. It looks like it was behind us. Was that a lock up on the track? It was Magnuson. It is behind us. Okay, we might have got past Vettel there using the button. Okay, let's put it back into neutral then. So we've got one place back. And now Albon does come in. Keep doing what you're doing. And there's an overtake from Williams. Well, I'd like to harvest that energy back now, but without losing his position if possible. If that is possible. And then go again and get our position back. If someone's run wide in sector one, that'll be in front of us. Be one of the leaders, you would think. Who's running wide there? No, it's Joe after his pit stop, so. Oh, oh, holy, holy, holy shit. Gasly's actually made a move on. Finally, someone's got past someone. Well, we've got to be careful. Gasly don't go up the road now. Oh, we're playing the no ERS game. See how they're getting away slightly because we're not using the RS. Use the RS. Probably. I didn't mean to that neutral is what I meant. I'm kind of looking to get Brand Gasly again then, make a move. We'll go back to Harvest, see if we can't get up to 100% again. This might be Michael managing the tactic. Yeah, look, 90%. We're not losing position. Tough old races, trying to get a point. I haven't really got a lot to say. They should me to rant about the fucking state of the game again. Don't bring that up. Don't bring that up again. Don't start him off. Oh, it's still in harvest. Oh, I meant to took that out. Oh well. That's why we've lost a bit of room there. Lost a bit of ground rather, but it's okay, we're going to be okay. Yeah, because we're still caught up. I can't get past Gasly again. That should get us full ERS now. One more break. Yeah, they're going to tell us that's it's full. Yeah, there we go, 100%. We're back to a full charge. So we just need to get close to Gasly again. And then we'll deploy it again, the overtake button. See if we can't get another position. And then do the same process again. 
bored as that may be. Okay, we seem to be close enough. He's over tick, he's over tick. Copy. Stap him with the fastest lap. Oh, Gasly pulled away then. Just as we were going to press the button, look. How do we get past? I think we're asking a lot to get around the outside. We'll have one more lap and then we have to go back to harvesting again. Even if we've got one more lap in there, which is probably unlikely. Yeah, we're going to drain it now, look. Gasly covers it off and we ain't gonna, we're going to run out of room before we get past Ocon. Oh, no, we know we've got past him. So that's our position back. just gained by Williams trying for a double overtake here can we get down the inside of Gasly we're going for it oh but why did we why did we break oh my god so all that fucking work undone again Jesus Christ that's a good overtake from Alpine no it wasn't it was bullshit overtake because we were doing Gasly and then we decided we were going to bottle it and break. God, I hope that's close enough for DRS. Yeah. Only just so. We need to close the gap again. Right, well, sooner or later we're going to have to start ticking through again. We can't just be watching this over and over again. Desperately trying to get this tenth spot. What are the tyres are they both on? They're both on the same strat. Difficult. We've got Vettel all over the back of us like a cheap suit, and as Verstappen comes in, as the medium tyre crew, oh, wrong button. Oh, give over. Because we're on harvest. Oh, that's not good. We've lost another position now. Someone's made a mistake in sector one, though. Oh, they've run wide. Leclerc. Oh, look how the other two have suddenly gone up the road. 1.5 seconds. How have they just suddenly done that? Now we've got Max Verstappen right behind us, which is going to complicate things.
Okay, well, I'm going to tick on through again while I'm having this absolute nightmare here of epic proportions trying to move up the field. Um, and we'll see in a sec if anything happens. Or well, I will come back after once everybody's done that, all the medium crew have done the pits, and we'll see what go on from there. So, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so we're just about to start lap 35. We're in eighth. We're obviously, uh, that's still everybody pitting. Since they pitted Leclerc, Verstappen, and Perez have come past us, uh, which actually did us a favour actually because it enabled us to catch up with Gasly and Ocon a little bit because it was um, it formed a train where we could all have DRS and we could get back in touch with them. We were struggling; we were just 1.2 seconds away. Now we're only like 0.5 seconds away from Perez. Uh, could do with him getting past Gasly as quick as possible and leaving us. On the back of him if we can uh, tires are starting to wear uh, considerably but I mean we remember we were 12th uh, oh someone just run wide in sector 2 we were 12th um, before everybody started coming in and the Claire's run wide again Uh, Vettel's had a bit of a lock up as well, so that's put him a little bit behind us. So it gives us a bit of breathing space behind. Um, we don't come into a lap 40 something, so I just thought we'd do a quick recap. Uh, Vesti's got nearly a fucking kilo of fuel to burn in a bit. I haven't looked at him for a while. I think that's Vettel just in front of him. Yeah, it is. So he's battling with Vettel, so he's done quite good to, I know Vettel locked up, but he's, he's just been steady. He's just been steady is where he's been. He's some way off catching the group in front after this, where um, doing his, but other than that, just steady. As long as he doesn't make a mistake and he's steady like that, I'll take that all out of the way. He looks after his tyres, sound. Don't mind him being steady, it's the steady with the mistakes is no good. But again, don't mind doing making mistakes when he's being aggressive but it's all these steady mistakes which are really annoying and can we just get on that Perez can't seem to get past he's having the same trouble we was having so when do we come in lap 46 lap 48 holy shit and then we're going to make these tyres last till lap 48. I don't think we are. We're just about keeping in touch with DRS. Maybe our car's not so fast once it gets lighter on fuel. Maybe when everybody's laden down, that's when we're at our fastest. We just seem to struggle with a little bit of pace all of a sudden towards the latter half of the race. Everybody else seems to get faster and we don't. Not as fast as them anyway. Perry's getting seriously old up there. I think he's finally just got past Gasly. Gadsy not given an inch though, I don't blame him, it's for position, so why should he? Just because Perez is pitted and Gasly hasn't. Don't compromise our own battle with Ocon, as far as I'm concerned. I haven't looked in the rear view for a while. Yeah, we've got cars everywhere, look, we've got Carlos Sainz ready to come in, cause aggro. So the second like Perez gets out of the way, and we can have a start having a move on Gasly. Science is going to come between us now. You watch. Probably on this straight. At the end of it. We're just never close enough. Perez gets back to Ocon now. And now it's back on, but like I say, science will come straight past in a minute now and balls all that up again. I 
Right, well, we're going to tick on now till pit stop time. Just waffling, just watching nothingness. So May's now addicted to his game, he's, even though it's broken as fuck. But still, let's move on and let's tick on. Okay, so we've just entered the pit window and our tyres are hanging off 35%. Um, Gaz is at 40. Good job, good job. Uh, Vesti's just got past Vettel. Well done, mate. So now we're really going to see how we shake out now, but we are going to have to, we're going to have to come in a lap early, at least, like 34 now. Uh, not this lap, but the end of the next lap, we're going to have to come in, and we're going to have to hope those softs last till the end of the race. Uh, it's saying that they should, just about. I'd like to have made these last a bit longer. Doing just can't do it. Not 34 now, they're going to be absolutely fucking... I can't let them go past 30. You really start to see the drop off. So, we will set it up after we cross the start finish line now. Oh, there's the pit lane. So, we are going to have to pit this lap. Box, 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 box. Best you can stay out a while longer. Oh, Science got past him, went up the road. He did that, he did it quite quickly actually. Ocon's got past Gasly again, Gasly got past Ocon again. Wow, uh, keeps happening. We're just at the back of them watching it, mind. See, down to 33% now. We're not going to get another lap out of these. We've got to come in this lap. I can't tell you how much I start to drop off and how you notice on your lap times once it gets below 30%. I mean, we didn't want to come in for another two laps, really. But what are you going to do? At least we can try the undercut now. I don't think either of these will be coming in this early. I might do. We'll see. I hope they don't. No, they're not. Watch white line and pick any down entry. So remember, I think we should come out roughly about 12th when it all shakes out. Remember, Vesta got a pit, but no, we're down to 15th. Holy shit. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. It might not have been the best of sound. This strap works out now. Alpha Tower regained a place. Now it's really about lap times. Okay, they've all come in this lap. So have we done enough to get out in front of them? I don't think we will have done. Yeah, okay. In your comment. Gasly has pitted for new option. Okay, box, box. Will we get past? Will we get past? Will we get past? There's Ocon. There's Gasly. Yeah, the undercuts work. We're past both of them. Yeah, Superb. Okay, reduce lift and coast. Yeah, 
and out of DRS range. Okay, that's really worked out in our favour then. We've nailed that pit stop. Push the fuel now as well, try and stay out in front. Register lift and cop. Yeah, copy. Vesti comes in now. Obviously, we'll get past him, but where's he going to come out? Okay, I guess we're into 12th, but it's not the points, is it? I don't know who's got left to pit in front of us. Vested on a disappointing 16th, 17th. Vettel's got in front of him. Oh dear. Right, what, what's what's looking likely in front? It's looking like Ricardo is going to come in, and that's it really. So it's just a case of can we hunt down Lance Stroll, who is four seconds in front of us. And we're lapping a second quicker. So yes, I think we will hunt down Lance Stroll. And maybe Ricardo as well. There is Lance Stroll. This is where I get excited now. This is the part of it I like. When you're on the better tyres and you're just trying to reel them in with the lap times. Okay, yeah, the fastest lap yeah, I'm doing. Good. Get lap in, lad. Good. Good. That's what we want. That's how you reel in Lance Strong when you put in fastest laps. Someone's ran wide in sector two. That can only be good news we for us. Carl Carlos Science, that's probably a bit too far ahead. Festy's got pass Vettel, go on lad. What's his lap time to Magnussen? Three seconds. There's Lance Stroll, that's, that's the points there. If we can get past him, that puts us in the points. It's all about grabbing a point where you can get one. Hamilton now with the fastest lap, so that was short-lived. One eighteen from Lance Stroll, one seventeen, one eighteen and a half from Stroll, or one seventeen from Dewey. That's one and a half seconds. Absolutely smashed out of him that lap. That's a stonking lap. And a new fastest lap from Vesti. Holy shit. Come on, lads. That's how you catch folk. I seem to remember we were doing this last year on this track. Having um, soft tyres and reeling somebody in. I think it was Sonoda. Just check the rear view. No, uh, they're not a million miles away, are they? Oh, and Gasly, okay. Two seconds. So it can be a bit of worry the way we go through tyres in case we look bit short on tight rubber at the end but and there goes Lance Stroll and now we're in the points now George Russell surely not how far in front is he oh seven seconds that's a big ask and a new position. but 
We've just done nearly a second and a half on him again. On Russell, so we'll see. He's on softs himself, so that's unlikely. Oh, he's held, he's held up behind Norris, that's the thing. That's why. So we might catch Norris. Although we're going to have to ease off the fuel now, that's a shame. We want to leave cup, please. Box, no, not box. Mm -hmm. So really, really is now down to. Can we keep the rubber? Fastest. You fastest slap. Oh, not pushing as well. Go on then, doing. And I was going to say, are oh, we fast enough? Without pushing the fuel, and it would, I would, it would appear we are. The gap now down to five point eight seconds. Come on, then, Duan. Festy must have caught up with. Oh no, Vettel's got past him again. Bloody hell! He's supposed to be catching Magnuson, mate. Just no mistakes, lads. Just no mistakes. I'm invested disappointing 17th and he's not made a mistake. So a super disappointing race from him. One eighteen from Alonso. Oh, from Russell. Oh, Alonso made a mistake. That's why it's Alonso. That sounds like someone's gone wide there. Oh, Bottas has run wide. Oh, maybe Alonso came in the pits then. Because all of a sudden, Alonso's in ninth. I didn't see him come in the pits though. Didn't come up pit, I don't and think. I never noticed if he did. Williams. I'm glued to the fucking lap times. Best he gets past that one. Well done, lad. We're still a long way off the rest of them. There they are. Can we catch him? Can we? 118s, 118, 227 from Alonso. Oh, Norris 117, 4-1-1-1. So no, not really. And Ocon just put an absolute fucking blinder in. Okay, well, I'm going to have to tick through a bit because otherwise this record's going to go on forever. So we'll come back in a sec when we've either reeled him in or it's the last lap and we didn't make it. So we're going out on lap 55. Okay, you join us as we're just about to start lap 61. We've just got it down to under a second, so we're going to get DRS on Alonso and Norris now. Uh, Russell went past and went up the road. That's three laps to go. But three laps to go and we've just started to get on the back of these pair now. Whether we can get past them, that's a different matter in two, two laps to go. But nonetheless, as Alonso goes past Norris himself, we've caught him. We're all right for rubber, 50%. I'd rather have a bit more, but still, what are you going to do? We are still the fastest lap. Nice work. Uh, Vesti's just got past Lance Stroll. Uh, well done, mate. And there's an overtake from Williams. So it's just a case of can we? Oh, we should have looked at that. Can we get? So what else has he got in front of him? Magnuson now is on the back. And Ricardo. 
Okay, we're going to have to micromanage this now. I think we give him the overtake button while he's got it for two laps. Just use the overtake. Okay. See what he can do. And we'll save the overtake button here for the last lap in a minute. As we're right on stroll, these tyres must be absolutely shagged. It's just because they're hard. We're just faster on the softs is all. Whereas before we were battling, we were battling against like-for-like -like tyres with Gasly and Ocon. Oh, it would be sweet if we could get past these pair and finish eighth. It's probably a big ask, but... You can push your fuel a bit as well. And uh, we think you can reduce lifting coast. And you can get through. Well, last lap, about to start it. The leaders have for Stappen. Norris doesn't know whether to try and get past Alonso or or stop us from getting past him. And a new position just gained by Williams. Vesti gets past Magnussen. Go on, lad. Card out to go. Well, let's give the overtake button here now as well on this straight. Is available if mm, whether you'll whether you'll even catch Ricardo is unlikely. Okay, here we go. Can we get past Norris now? We're going to do Alonso for sure. It's good job. Alonso's just lost two positions there on the last lap. He's going to be gutted. Now it's just a case: of can we get past Norris? Come on, Dewan. How's Vesti getting on? Is it? No, he doesn't look like he's going to catch Ricardo. Oh, as we just come back, just as Vesti does, uh, Dewan does get past Norris. Go on. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you're right. You keep doing what you're doing. The race is over. Leclerc's won. Verstappen second. Well, that was the death. Perez. Sainz, I mean Verstappen started on the last lap winning, lost it on the last lap, then Hamilton, doing wonders in the McLaren, beat the two Mercedes, Russell and Bottas as he comes doing, ERS battery is empty, that's okay because we've come over the line in eight, get in, get in lad. Best he couldn't quite catch Ricardo, but he comes in in 14th, upper place, but uh, a bit poor, I think. Oh, he's run out of fuel. He has. <laughs> That's the flag. I pushed the fuel and forgot. Uh, luckily, you don't get into trouble for that, because the game's bossed. Should do, but still, there we go. That should be a penalty next race, but it won't be. Right, so Charles Leclerc, Stappen, Perez, Sainz, Hamilton, Russell, Bottas, Dewan, Norris, Alonso make up your top 10. So points again for Dewan, five points, keeps him seventh. Uh, not far behind the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz, I might add. That's all I'm saying. But Verstappen's still leading, but not by much. He's a bit closer to his teammate Perez, though, that's unfortunate. But that's a welcome 25 points for the Ferrari and Charles Leclerc, who uh, oh, still a good 80 points behind in the constructors. And McLaren up two places to fourth. Williams seventh, another five points for us. Thank you. Uh, wouldn't it be nice to be Alpha? Uh, I doubt we'll do that, but wouldn't it be nice? We've got to we've got to finish eighth. So to be honest with you, we're only on par, and we've got points again which we needed for the long-term objective. And a development point for Vesti, but not for doing, which surprises me. 5.38 million, because we've obviously done that uh, finishing streak. Oh, he has got a point off the 
what's the name center oh miami next oh i quite like that track i forgot it was miami next okay right then that's going to be the end of the episode so leave a like if you like subscribe if you're new to the channel this is where you'll find me on twitch this is where you'll find me on twitter and until next time try it